show you a short uh, demonstration of how to create a multi-level uh, approval workflow with the Workflow Conductor Studio. First, a little bit about what I'll be approving. Uh, I have a document library on my Corporate Affairs site that I call Expense Reports. Uh, my uh, employees would upload their expense reports to this library and enter the value to be reimbursed in the value column. And depending on that value, uh, the approval will follow a couple of different paths. So first, uh, go to the library ribbon and open up your Workflow Conductor Studio by clicking on Create and Edit Workflows. Uh, once your Workflow Conductor Studio is open, Uh, give your workflow a title. I'm just going to leave the start options as uh, manually started so when it's ready to be reviewed somebody will kick off the review. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is put on a conditional branch that uh, checks the value. So in this fictitious company uh, expense reports that are less than 50 bucks don't need approval. So that's what I'm going to check first. It's going to be uh, the value is less than 50. And I'll change fifty. Apply. If it is, we're just going to end, uh, we're, we're going to set the approval for the item and be done. It's going to be approved, value less than. 50 report auto approved. And I'm going to run that as the designer because the initiator may not have approval authority in this document library. Um, if the value is greater than 50, I'm going to add a request approval widget. And it's going to go through the first uh, level review. And uh, for this review, um, we're going to create some tasks. So I'm going to say, please review this expense report. I can add description if I want, but for this demo, I'll, I'll leave everything the same. We have a notification, that's an email that gets sent to the person that's assigned the task, uh, reassignment and request change. Um, at, up at the top, I'm going to select my approvers. Uh, so I can show you this working, I'm gonna use myself. I can also enter a SharePoint group if I want to. Um, I can enter more than one person if I want to, and then I would choose how many approvals are required. Uh, I want to send task assignments. I want to send status emails to the initiator. Um, the days until due, I need to uh, approve this within one day. Uh, allow reassignment, no. Request change, no. Save comments. I need to create a variable for my comments, so I'll create that here, save my changes, and then choose my variable. Are there any attachments uh, to my task? Uh, the I can say uh, yes and attach the file from the current item. So that will be the current items file, so that's the expense report itself. So I click Apply. So that's the first round of review. Uh, if it's approved there, then I'm going to um, check again to see if it's over $1,000. And if it's over $1,000, I need a second level of review.
So here it's very similar to my first condition. I'm just going to look at the value column and see if it's greater than 1,000. And click Apply. Um, if it is not over a thousand and it was in the approved area then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the approval status to approved so that's going to be uh, the current item approved and I'm going to put the comments that I saved in the first review process Uh, in the comments for the approval. And again, change that to Workflow Designer, click Apply. Um, if it's rejected at the first review, I'm going to set the approval status there also. And here we're going to say that it was rejected, and I'm also going to add uh, the comments from the approver. there. Okay, so I have accommodated uh, the first round gets approved. We check again. If it's, over, if it's not over a thousand, we set the approval status to approved. If the first round of review is rejected, we set the approval status to rejected. So now we have to add our second level approval here. And so I'm going to go up and grab um, another request approval widget and put it in the true branch of this is expense over a thousand. And we'll scroll down. Um, so this is our second round of review. So I'll name that. This is because it's over a thousand dollars. Here the approver uh, will be again, I'll put myself here so I can show you the emails. Um, it's only one person, so I don't need to expand groups. I don't need to choose how many approvals. If I added multiple people or groups, I would uh, change that here. Everything else will leave as the default here. I, again, I need it reviewed within a day. Uh, no reassignment, no request change. I'm going to use the same comment variable that I used before. Since I'm done with the first review, I can reuse it. I do want to allow an attachment because I want the expense report attached. Um, and then the item to attach will be the current item the file that's there. Uh, one other thing I forgot to say, I wanted to um, add to my task description here and tell this reviewer this is the second round of review. The comments from the first review are and then I can put uh, comments from the first reviewer so the second reviewer can get an idea of uh, what the first reviewer might have been concerned about if anything so we'll click apply there and save our changes to that request approval widget and now same thing in this true and false branch we need to set our approval status so on the approved side I'm of course going to set it to approved. And I'm going to uh, show the comments here. I could also save the, uh, the comments from the first round into a second variable so I can show the comments from both rounds if I wanted to. 
And then I'm going to set the approval on the rejected side to reject it. And put the comments there. Look for a designer, click apply. So now let me just close this thing so you can see the whole workflow. First we check is the value less than 50, we automatically approve it. If it's uh, more than 50, we do the first round of review. If it's rejected there, it gets rejected. Nothing else happens. If it's approved there, we check to see if it's more than 1,000. If it is, it goes through a second round of review. If it isn't, it's approved. And then finally, the second round of review. If it's approved, we set the approval status to approved. If it's rejected, we set it to rejected. And so that's our workflow. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to publish it to the list. So my workflow is published. So now we can give it a try. So I'm going to, I have my document here actually, so uh, this one hasn't been approved. Its approval status is currently pending. So I'm going to uh, access the Actions menu, select Workflows, find my Expense Report Review Workflow, and choose to start it. And uh, so we can see now it's uh, started. We can see that the expense report review is in progress. Um, so I should have some emails in my inbox. I don't yet. Uh, rather than wait for my email, I'm just going to go to uh, my workflow tasks list where the workflow was created, the task. And uh, when I open that list, you'll see that this task, please review this expense report, was uh, created just a few minutes ago. So I'm going to uh, click on that task. It's going to open up the form for that task, which a link would have been emailed to me. Uh, when I open it up, it tells me that this workflow task applies to Copy Memo Final. Uh, it gives me the title, the due date, who it was requested by, description, um, and a place for me to enter my comments. So I'm going to say um, this is okay with me and choose to approve it. That's going to process my task. My task is changed to completed, and uh, let's go back to our expense report list. And you can see that now our uh, approval process has been completed because the value is uh, less than $1,000, so the approval status is approved. Let's just upload a few other expense reports. I'll just get a, any file, click OK. This one we'll say is $35. Remember, anything less than 50 gets uh, approved automatically. So I can uh, choose to send that along on its workflow. And you'll see that this one should get approved pretty quickly because it's not going to create a task and it's not going to wait for somebody to uh, approve that task. So when I refresh the list, you can see that that expense report is uh, completed right away. Now a third try is going to upload another file. And for here I'm going to say the value is 1250. And we'll go ahead and start that workflow again. Uh, if I wanted to start this workflow automatically, I could. I'd probably put a checkbox in there or something that says ready for review uh, so that it can go automatically.
you'll see that uh, I don't think I started that quite right. Start workflow. Wait for it to start. There it is in progress. I think I started the copy menu again. So now I want to go to uh, our workflow tasks list. We should see a task for review. Um, one for the uh, bulk import example. This is the first round of review. Um, I'll say it's OK. And you'll notice when this task is completed, another one for bulk import example gets created because this is the second round. And if we say um, this one is not OK and we reject it, we'll see what happens to that item in my expense reports list. The value is completed, but you can see that the approval status is rejected. So that's the example of a nested approval using Workflow Conductor Studio.